The ghost of the ancient baron came down from the ruin of the castle about the village of Galte, up on the Risen, and walked along the banks of the river, fox and wild boar hunting. Their weapons twinkle among the low alders by the waterside. Grazia Deledda made immortal the characters of the medieval manor house, the castle that, as a sentry, observed the shore looking out at the village beneath the white and green cone of the Mount Tutavista. Here she wrote Canel Vento, Can in the Wind, after a stay in Pintor's Lady's house, where she could make out the Pisan Basilica from, wrapped up with brambles, and farther the ruins of the castle which was conquered by the judges from Arborea. Here, in this place is full of spell, slowly was Ruth, Noemi and Esther's story consumed. Three noble women who experienced both wealth and poverty. In the courtyard of the house still is the well which looked like an uragi, kept untouched. Aphix, the faithful servant will say, were just like canes in the wind, my lady Esther. That's why the wind is the fate. In Galtelli, the wind still blows on the raids by the river, drawing a special park dedicated to this noble prize for literature, to a novel whose pages mirror the sweet scenery of Baronia. On top, in a narrow alley of the Holy Cross parish, we find the entrance of the park where the memory travel starts, among the most ancient houses, the pebbled courtyard and the many churches. The Pisan Cathedral of San Pietro stands out with its bell tower. The first bishop of the diocese, Civitas Galtellina, was appointed by Pope Innocent II in 1138. This place of worship keeps inside many hard treasures. We find the wall painting of the romantic aurora which colored the scenes of the Old and New Testament. San Pietro Cathedral painting cycle achieved a high historical and artistic importance. It was painted by masters from Andrea and Lesion, dispatched by the Pope in the 12th century. The images of the Bible on the walls tell about the origins and the creation of man, about the expulsion of Adam and Eve from the earthly paradise, about the universal deluge and the Ark of Noah, and about Jesus' birth and the Magi arrival. With those belonging to the Basilica of Saccarja, these are the most ancient fresco painting of Sardinia. The diocese was suppressed in 1495. This fortress marks the border of the medieval village. It was inhabited since the Neolithic. Many fragments of Punic and Roman hamphras came to light, as also Maiolicas from the Renaissance period, catapult bolt, and a seal belonging to the Viscontis. From the castle belonging to the judges to those belonging to Lord Guzzetti. The Count arrived here from Milan as tourist, but then he got bewitched by the mild plane crossed by the Cidrino. He had his small castle built on a cliff borrowed by the Yanas in the kingdom of the laborious fairies, as the writer Giuseppe di Si said in his tale A Piece of Moon. A moon that still illuminates Malika's park plays at the foot of the Count's castle.
here is the river that comes from the mountains of Barbaja, crossing five villages and then arriving to Rosé and its sea. The writer Salvatore Satta, in his novel Il Giorno del Giudizio, The Doomsday, described this land by the ancient saints. In winter time, Baronia was a real garden, and if the river got mad, every now and then and it overflowed and flooded the fields, isolating the absurd villages, reason who knows how and why in the white plain, when it withdrew and come down in a mild flow which stopped here and there in blue spots that looked like pieces of sky, it left as a reward a finer moist soil, which was already wheat, barley and above all broad beans. and those melons by the teal blue flesh which spread the name of Baronia all over Sardinia. Nuoro was just a shepherd's village when Galtelli was flourishing in its splendor and was the capital of Lo Galura district. Time has not wiped out the signs of history, which are reflected in the churches dating from the 13th and 14th centuries. These of the Assunta, of Mezzagosto, of Santa Croce, with its spontaneous architecture, that of Santissimo Crucifisso, initially built in honor of the Madonna of Torres, whose celebrations still take place with its confraternities. Tradition and religiousness twined together in this land of miracles. The story of the cross which choose blood still remains a mystery. By the end of 1300, the statue was found on a beach along the coast and then moved to Galtelli, where it was taken in Sapietro Cathedral. The car stopped and stayed still right in front of the church of Torres, with its facade made of limestone and basalt. The Christ still stands out in the sanctuary which takes the name from the Holy Cross. The first miracle dates back to the 29th of April 1612. The court scribe Giovanni Simone Carta was witness of this event and reported that bright blood appeared on the top of the knee on the left thigh of the statue. Two priests and a sacristan were also present when the prodigy happened. The miracle recurred the 1st of May of the same year. From the Tamaturgy Christ to a more recent one, which dominates the whole Baronia from Mont Tutavista, a bronze giant 12 meter high work of the sculptor Pedro Angel Terro Manrique from the Institute of Fine Arts of Madrid University. The new Christ is already a destination of pilgrimage for many faithfuls. Santa Maria, Mamma e Deu, prega por nós a teros pecador, como e a sore a sua morte nostra menze. E a parte da volontade tua, como em Jesus Cristo e essa terra. Benedito é su bruto, essa entrada nossa. 